How are you doing guys? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's been about, probably about a year, two years since I've done any stuff on YouTube. I've just been a little bit preoccupied with, um, with my other platforms. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna go over the shop refurb. We've had a lot done in the shop. We've got new signage. We've totally rebranded it. Um, and yeah, we've just created a little bit more space in the shop and just give it a bit of a, a fresher look. Right, so the reception area. So before we used to have a reception desk that kind of, a brick reception desk that came out from the wall, came round and round the side. But I just found that it was just a complete waste of space. Like you wouldn't, we don't use a reception area a great deal. We didn't really need to be behind a desk. Uh, so we knocked the desk out and then we've just put, uh, um, What's it called? The wall unit? Yeah. So we just put a wall unit, you know, just on the wall and that just opens up this space a little bit more. And as well, we did have uh, quite a bulky, like L-shaped sofa. Um, but again, it just felt like it ate up the room. So we got rid of that and we just got some nice vintage brown chairs. Yeah, and got the lovely bar stool to match with back support. Um, and as well, we've got a little bit of um, a little bit of artwork from local artists on the wall as well. So these two pieces here are done by a gentleman called James Dixon, and his brand is called Lines Behind. Um, if you haven't heard of him, check him out on Instagram. I think it's at Lines Behind. Uh, he does some really cool stuff. And as well, we've got another piece that is meant to be on the wall, but. I don't know how to use a drill or a hammer or anything, so I'm waiting for someone to put it up for us, but I'm gonna show you. Oh. And this is a piece by a gentleman called Mull. Um, again, another local artist who does a lot of murals, um, a lot of street art, and I just love this piece. It's just really simple, and I love the color. It's kind of like a bluey purple. Uh, and I'm a blue guy all day long, so I had to have it in the in the shop. So yeah, that's that one. I'm 100% gonna need subtitles, I think, like. <laughs> yeah, so with the old shop as well, we did have um, some of the doors and some of the walls with graffiti on it. Um, and I still like that. I still think it's, it's, it's very me, you know. Um, but this time I wanted to go with something a little more arty rather than just graffiti. Um, so I got a, a, a lad called Marcus Methods um, to come in and do some work. This is the kind of style of, of artwork that he does and I just love it. There's lots of clean lines in there and it's just very vibrant, there's lots going on. Uh, lots of cool shapes and patterns and I just, I love his work. Um, I did some work with him a, a couple of years ago uh, for a company and that was, that was how I, I'd met him and, I, and he did some artwork for someone. And I was just like, that's sick. So I knew that when I was going to refurb the shop, that I was gonna get them to come in and do some artwork. So this is just one of the pieces that he's, he's done in the shop. Um, and he's got a couple more as well, which I'll show you in a bit. But yeah. Right, so don't let how tidy this side is fool you. This is L section. L is by far the messiest kid in the shop. Uh, but yeah, so this is as tidy as you'll ever see it. Uh, I've hit all these wires just because my OCD starts to go crazy. Um, but yeah, these are the, so these are the section tops. I can't tell you what wood they're made of because I've totally forgot. They're made of a ply, some type of ply with a heavy varnish on it. Um, so these section tops were made by a company called Northern CNC. Uh, so everything's cut on a CNC machine, um, which might interest some people, but you know, I just, just thought I'd just, explain the name Northern CNC. So they've done the, the section tops and they've done the, the reception desk as well. Um, and I just wanted more storage in the shop. You know, the shop's not massive um, and I don't really like, I don't really like having cluttered section tops. Um, so I just thought if I could get something with drawers in that look nice and clean, you know, that, that would be perfect for me. So, you know, they're all like soft closing and push open as well. You know what I mean? Does it, does it get much better than that, really? <laughs> um, yeah, and as well, when I got the shop done like five years ago, I put these, these mirrors in. Um, 
try to get them as, as big as possible. Uh, the main thing in a, in a barber shop is, you know, is, is you, you want as much light being reflected around the room as much as possible. The lighting, lighting is the most important thing when it comes to fading. Um, so yeah, I just wanted the lighting to be good everywhere in the shop. And as well, what I like about the big mirrors is that like you can have a conversation with someone anywhere in the shop because, and I'm really bad for it, I look at people through, instead of me just looking at you like this now, I like look at people in the mirror and they're just like, well, why don't you just look at us? I'm like, because I'm used to looking in the mirrors. Um, so yeah, you can hold a conversation with someone anywhere in the shop just through the mirrors. It just kind of, it keeps all the lads connected and talking. It's good for the atmosphere of the barbershop. Um, so yeah, I'm just dreading the day one of them gets a crack in it. And like these will not fit out the door because uh, they're just so, so big. Um, originally when I got them put in, um, this door, this doorway wasn't here. I've had that built in. Uh, so it was easy to get them in, but now there's a door there, so I don't know how they would get them out. But they haven't cracked in five and a half years, so I think we've still got another 10 left. Yeah, touch wood. So these are also a new addition. Um, these are the Takara Belmont DT um, barber chairs. Um, I went for white just because I think they just look really fresh. The only problem is with having white leather chairs is they stain really easily. Um, so what I've had to do is, is I've had to buy, uh, I've had to buy leather protector. So we scrub it, we scrub the chairs every week to clean them and then apply leather protector. So I do advise you if you ever buy light leather chairs, you've got to keep on top of them, make sure they stay, make sure they stay protected. But yeah, absolutely love them, look great keep the shop nice and bright. Uh, so yeah, these chairs were supplied by Chris and Sons. They've got another page for the furniture. I think it's called Chris and Sons Furniture. So yeah, if you wanna get some new barber chairs, if you check Chris and Sons out or check out Chris and Sons Furniture. Um, as well, this is another piece from Marcus Methods. This is probably me, my favorite bit of the shop as well. Um, yeah, I think it took them for the door, the wall, and then the other side of the wall. I think it took them like, I think it was here for like two and a half days because it was, it was all hand painted. Um, yeah, which is mad care and attention to getting it done. Um, that one's right next to the wash basin as well, so it's prone to a bit of splashing, which I've got to try and keep on top of as well. But yeah, I think that's, all I can really say on that. <laughs> yeah, and then this is this is my side. Um, got Karl Mack on my right, and I've got Drew on my left. Um, and yeah, this is the best spot. This is where all the good lighting is. You get a good view of the entire shop. Um, and it's probably the best for photos and videos as well, really like. Um, what's interesting about my section that I can talk about? Yeah, so I've got aftershaves here that I did buy to use on clients, but I only ever really use them on myself. So it was a bit of a bit of a waste. Um, yeah, as well, got quite a lot of fake plants in the shop. So we've got these plants up here. Um, got a plant next to the door there. I've got a plant behind Joe over there behind the camera. Um, I did, they did used to be real plants, but like having to look after them was turned out to be a bit of a, a bit of a chew. It was given us anxiety. It was given us anxiety not knowing when 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 to water them, um, and then they were dying because I was over watering them, and I was just like, "What's going on here? What do I do?" So yeah, scrap real plants, and now they're all fake, and I don't have to think about them ever. So they're just there. <laughs> they don't look as good, but they, they do the job. Um, what else? What else in here is interesting? Um, yeah, so there's some wooden features across the ceiling, which, well, which everyone thinks is wood, but they are actually, uh, they're actually metal. So there was some wood again across the ceiling that we couldn't really do anything with. So instead we've covered them with, with metal and then we've wrapped the metal to look, like, to look like wood. So it was wood and then we've put metal on it and then wrapped it in wood. So it's like, 
whatever. But I'm gonna prove it here, so I'm gonna take my shoes off, because these are white leather chairs. Oh! Oh! There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, and then this is probably everyone's favorite thing about the shop is, is the lights. Um, and it, it's my personal favorite. Um, LED strip lights um, that are zigzagging across the ceiling. Again, like I said, we just need as much light as possible. Nice, clean, white light bouncing all over the room, bouncing off the mirrors, um, which makes for, a, makes for a good fade. And, and yeah, painting the ceiling black was a big, like I didn't know what it was gonna look like, I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. So I actually painted the ceiling black before we put the lights in. And I remember coming in the shop and when the paint I was in and I was looking at the ceiling and I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, thinking, oh, ah, ah, what have I done? I, I was thinking it's gonna take like four coats of white to get it back. Uh, totally panicking about it. But then once we got the lights in, I was like, this looks sick. And I loved it because no one else had it at the time. I know a few people have kind of like got a similar thing now, but uh, yeah, this is the OG. So I absolutely love it. And this, so this has been, these lights have been here for like probably three or four years now. Uh, absolutely love them. Yeah, sweet. And last but not least, we've got new signs, new branding, um, and we've, we've also changed the smiley. So the main reason for the rebrand was the, the products. So I'm bringing hair products out and I just felt that the old logo really didn't suit what we had planned with the, with the products. And, and obviously I want the, the barbershop and the products to be, to be the same. I don't want to change one without changing the other. So that was why we did the rebrand in the shop. Um, the, the logo is just a lot more symmetrical and it's a, just like I say, a lot, a lot cleaner. Um, that used to be a neon sign, which was costing us a fortune. So now we've got an LED sign, um, which is a lot more energy efficient, you know? Um, these sign, this sign and the sign outside were done by a company called One Sign in Digital. One of my best friends, a lad called Chris Timmons. Um, he designed it and, and made it for us. So, you know, if you're looking for any signage, Chris Timmons, one sign in digital, give him a shout. So yeah, that's, um, that's Rascal's Barbershop for you. Um, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and if you comment and let us know what you'd like to see next. Yeah, I've been looking forward to, to getting back to YouTube. I think a lot of people on Instagram and TikTok think that I'm just like the most serious guy ever because I don't really smile on my social media and everyone thinks I'm really serious. So I'm gonna use YouTube as the, the platform, you know, to really get my personality across to you and show you what I'm actually like. Uh, so yeah, thanks.